Freak. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. I uh, accidentally walked into a strip club the other day. I was trying to find the brothel. <laughs> it was my face red. <laughs> strip club was weird. There's all these chunky looking ladies with long flabby flaps of excess skin hanging off them. Then I realised they were lap band dancers. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Took a while when I got into it. Bought myself a slippery nipple. Why do cocktails have such suggestive names like Sex on the Beach and Cocksucking Cowboys? You never go into a cafe and order a gangbang cum slut bakake latte. <laughs> Too much? <laughs> I, uh, talking to coffee. Um, Britney Spears, did you hear this? She's, um, she's got a Starbucks installed in the house. Apparently she doesn't even like the coffee, she just got it for the free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Feminists, am I right? Yes. I don't have any jokes about feminists. Um, <laughs> But they do make fun of me. Uh, a feminist the other day, she asked me what mansplaining was. <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking trap. <laughs> I'm not even sure she wanted to know. <laughs> My stepmom, uh, she's not political like that. She's, uh, she's a little passive aggressive. She says things like, hey, that's a nice haircut. Did you do it yourself? <laughs> I'm not political either. Uh, in fact, sometimes I'm not even sure that I'm a particularly nice guy. Um, there's this homeless guy who hangs around at the Kogo Cult, and he's got this, he's got this little cardboard sign that says on it, to find yourself, first think for yourself. And I thought to myself, if you live in a park drinking Windex, you're in no position to be offering life lessons. <laughs> Maybe, in your case, it would have been better if you had thought like everyone else. I didn't say that to him, of course. Uh, I pretended I didn't see him, so I didn't have to give him any money. <laughs> I'm a good guy. Good guy. <laughs> any of you guys tried internet dating or Tinder? I don't even need it anymore. I'm getting hit on fucking left, right, and center. This chick last week, she messaged me through my online cycling meetup group. I was pretty chuffed, pretty stoked. I thought to myself, that photo of me from 2006 has still got it! <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting older. Uh, you know, you, you start comparing your own achievements to the achievements of other people your age. I had this really weird reaction to, to learning that Hitler had written Mein Kampf in his 30s. I thought, shit man, you're 40. Even Hitler's written a fucking book. <laughs> and then I went, this is crazy, this is fucking insane, what am I thinking? Hitler was 48 before he tried to take over the world, there's still time! <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a bit about myself, I'm a journalist, well, freelance journalist. Alright, I'm unemployed. Um, <laughs> us journalists are very well known for being sort of uh, heavy drinkers. And uh, is it just me or are the alcohol guidelines, you know, the recommended daily intake things getting smaller and smaller every year? Like, shit, what is it now? It's like uh, one thimble full of beer a night for men, one sniff of an imitation rum and raisin ice cream for women. <laughs> but I, I, I don't want to make fun of, you know, a very serious issue. And I know a lot of you guys in the audience, you've probably experienced addiction or you, you know someone that has. And... Look, I wasn't sure I was going to do this tonight, but look, I want to reveal uh, for the first time that I also know what it's like to have a monkey on my back. There was a time not so long ago that, well, I'm not proud of this, but um, when it got real bad, when it got to the lowest of the low, there was a time that I would have sold my own mother for a hit of crack. And I didn't even take cracks, she's just a fucking pain. <laughs> Get off my back, Mom! I'll see if we hit a crack again! <laughs> Thank you. I'm here. <laughs>